morning everybody, distinguished guests, EIF members and friends. A warm welcome to you all to this morning's debate on the feedback from the IGF governance, uh, Internet Governance Forum, the IGF 2013. And a special welcome goes to my colleagues, Pilar de Castillo, Markham Harbour, um, Mr. Newton Dunn, Bill, Bill yes. Um, I'll just take a look. Oh yeah, Teresa and, Ma and Maria, thank you for coming. Um, Teresa and Maria was, were also joining me to the IGF for this year, so uh, I think they can make some contributions later too. So um, a warm welcome goes also to our speakers, Nigel Hickson and Professor Michael Rother. Thank you very much for coming this morning. And, but unfortunately, the third speaker from the Commission is not able to present this morning, and I would have been very it would have been very useful to hear from them about their impressions of the IGF, the upcoming negotiations in Brazil and Europe's role in shaping the future of the Internet, but uh, it was impossible for them to come today, so perhaps there will be another opportunity to have an exchange on this issue, how the future, how the Brazil process is going on. This year will be very important for the future development of Internet governance structures, with many important conferences like that one in Brazil, the ITU conferences with this plus 10 in Sham, Sham el Sheikh in April and the ITU conference in Busan I think where uh, also yeah, we will have uh, important decisions taken therefore I hope we will get a chance soon to talk about the Commission's communication on internet policy governance which is currently under European Commission's inter-service consultation and we need to set up a clear position on the future of internet governance and Europe must play a strong role there Ladies and gentlemen, last year there were growing concerns over proposals being presented by different states on international level which would impact the internet architecture, operations, content, security, business relations, internet governance and in some cases the free flow of information online. The European Parliament has always rejected any ideas of making cha changes to the international telecommunication regime to which would generally give the uh, regulation power uh, over the internet to a supranational government organization. The European Parliament has always supported the present bottom-up multi-stakeholder model and has expressed concerns that any proposals that might question the multi-stakeholder model may seriously affect the development of and access to online services for the users and well, as well as the digital economy as a whole. This is certainly nothing which is desired on European Level. The Internet has made an enormous contribution to growth and innovation in Europe's economies and has become a crucial part of the everyday life of most of our citizens. Much of this success is down to the openness of the Internet as a platform, providing low barriers to entry, uh, a fertile ground for innovation, in particular the development of new content and applications. Therefore, Internet governance and related regulatory issues should continue to be defined at a comprehensive and multi-stakeholder level. And we believe in the institution of the IGF as it has a clear focus on bringing together people from all stakeholder groups to engage as equals in a dialogue on public policy issues related to the Internet and its governance. It should be our common commitment to build a people-centered, open, competitive, fair, transparent, <coughs> inclusive and development-oriented Internet where everyone can create, access, utilize and share information and knowledge. We're all, we all here this morning talk about the outcomes of the last IGF. Uh, which, talk, which took place in October 2013 in Bali. Since then, the speed of events has increased and has taken a different dimension with the much-discussed initiative from Brazil. Today's debate will offer a platform for, talk, uh, for taking stock of the IGF process and agenda, as well as continuing the conversation. EIF started with MEPs, the Commission, Business and Civil Society experts on this key topic for the long-term sustainability of the Internet as a network of networks with a focus on the role of the EU. As time is very limited, I will briefly introduce our speakers, and you can find more details about them on the papers you have received. I invite the speakers to be also brief in order to have enough time for questions and answers 
there will be a little more time than normal because our third speaker is not there. So um, I first uh, would like to ask uh, Nigel um, as a stakeholder from ICANN to talk about his impressions of IGF and to take an outlook on uh, the Brazil process and what will go on during the, last year, uh, during the next year. And after that I would ask uh, Professor Michael Rota to talk from his side. He is chairman of ECO, and uh, he can take something, uh, uh, can take a view on also what's going on in June on the European level. Thank you very much.